Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a war recap on our most recent war against Lubard War Team. And we got tons of attacks to show you guys today. We've got hogs, we've got miners, we've got dragons, we've got Lalo. Everything is working right now. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so here we go, in our war against Lubard War Team, we tied on stars, they were able to pull out the victory on percent, just barely, less than a percent by them. We did have two Town Hall 12s in the lineup, and they had all Town Hall 13s, so they had a little bit of an advantage, but that's okay. They did really good, they had a lot of triples, nice victory by them. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these attacks here. We're going to start off with our favorite attacker in WHF, it's Serg himself, the master of wall breaks. We're going to take a look at what he's doing today. Looks like he's doing a queen charge hog attack on number six here. So let's go ahead and see how he does this. He's going to start off with the queen right over here at seven o'clock. Drops the healers and they hit a seeking air mine right away. So already started the attack, he loses a healer right away. Not a great start, but you can't really predict, predict that on the fresh attacks. So he's gonna go ahead and drop test wall breaker, drop his king over here to funnel. Here come the rest of the wall breakers, and of course they hit a small bomb. What do you know? Serg fails another wall break. That's a classic. Pulls a skelly trap over here. Queen's gonna walk around the wall. He doesn't have any more wall breakers to get her in, but he's still gonna be able to pull this off. So she's gonna walk around, go target this bomb tower, and he's just gonna jump straight in. After she fights the CC, his healers pull another Seeking Air Mine, so he's already down to three healers from five. So not a super solid start to this charge, unfortunately. He's gonna drop the poison, pops, Queen pops the Hound, drops a minion to help her fight it. The pups go down really quickly, he's gonna drop that jump so that way she can still get inside, get this Town Hall, and get this Inferno. Expo locks onto his healer, he only has three left and he's already losing another one. Inferno Tower also locks onto his healers. Uh, his queen starts fighting the BK here. She's going to take him down pretty quickly because she's inside of a rage. He's down to one healer left. She targets the Town Hall. He's going to freeze the Town Hall and the Expo and pop queen ability at the last second. She's barely going to get the Town Hall. All her healers are dead, so she's going to die here. So he's just going to go ahead and start the hogs. He starts with the slammer to get rid of this Expo, and then he's just going to full send all the hogs from over here. Warden and Royal Champ behind. He's going to pop the Warden ability really early just to get through that first uh, round of Eagle Shots, the Bomb Tower, and the enemy Queen doing a lot of damage to his Hogs. He didn't even get the Queen with the charge, but that's okay. His Royal Champion is going to be able to get the Queen no problem at all. He freezes two Expos, Inferno, and a Scatter Shot. Really good value from the Freeze spell there. And uses his last heal over there by the last inferno and that wizard tower as the hogs push that way. His royal champ and another group of hogs are over here taking out all these defenses and the top group of hogs are at almost full health wrapping around the edge of the base. The royal champ did so much work there. The hogs were in heals the whole time and they never, hardly any of them died. And so that, that went from a sketchy looking attack at the beginning with a failed wall break, all the healers dying, queen doesn't even get queen, or the enemy world, or I guess she did get the royal champ early. But other than that, I mean, not a whole lot of value from the queen charge, but Serg was still able to pull it off. Luckily, he brought that jump spell. If he didn't, this probably would have been a complete disaster. But awesome recovery there from Serg. Really good attack on the queen charge hogs. Let's go ahead and bounce out and take a look at our next attack, which is going to be a queen walk dragons on number 11. So let's see what Wessel does here. This is Wesley on his Town Hall 13. So looking at this base, what we've been doing a lot lately with these bases that have the exposed Town Halls on the outside, is you really just want to pick a side and walk. You don't even have to charge, just queen walk one side of the base, send your king down the other side of the base, and then just send something down the middle, whether it's dragons, hogs, miners. I mean, it seems like almost everything's working if you do it right right now. So let's take a look at how he does it on this base right here. He's going to go ahead and start with a queen walk over on this 4 o'clock side. So he's going to make a funnel with a baby dragon, just a nice easy funnel. He drops the queen right here. This archer tower is only three tiles from the wall in this direction right here. 
So Queen will be able to reach it from this side and then continue walking this way, no problem. And then after that, the Inferno's not going to be able to kill all his healers, which is great. Because he dropped the healers way off to the right when he places Queen. Uh, Tesla pops in the corner, throws him off a little bit, messes up his funnel. So he's going to drop a Loon over there and get that. Drops the Rage so his Queen can fight the enemy Royal Champ. And then he wants that Rage to extend into the fight with the BK, which it does. He's going to go ahead and drop a Freeze on this Expo Warden just so they're not doing too much damage to his queen so she can stay alive without popping the ability. He's going to drop another rage here with the, that loon from the Tesla at 3 o'clock goes and pulls a Seeking Air Mine which is really good value. A little bit lucky there but it's really good value. He's going to freeze the queen again. Queen's inside of a rage with the healers. The rage is going to wear off. CC comes out. Lava Hound, uh, Ice Golem, really common CC we're seeing everywhere. Goes ahead and drops the poison, gets most of the pups in that poison. Queen's going to get frozen here on the ice golem for six and a half seconds. We're running low on time, so he's going to go ahead and start the BK funnel to walk around the base, get all these trash buildings like that. Queen's fighting the town hall. There's no more rages, so he's not going to be able to rage her anymore. But that's all right. She's going to be able to get to the town hall, no problem. King's making the funnel down here, and then he's just going to send all the dragons in right here with the slammer and the warden. He's not going to use the Royal Champ right away. He's going to save the Royal Champ to use on the back end over here to snipe this other ID, or AD, the air defense. Queen is still alive. He doesn't have any rages for the dragons, but he does have two freezes. He's going to go ahead and drop one here on the Eagle and the Sweeper. And then he's going to drop the second freeze a little bit further back here in a couple seconds. There goes the Royal Champ on the back end. She's going to get that AD. He drops his last freeze again. On the Eagle and on the Scatter Shot, pops the Warden ability for all these Loons Dragons in the middle of the base, going over the Inferno. They pick off that second Inferno and they're heading toward the third Inferno. This Royal Champ is making a nice funnel for the Dragons, so the Dragons and the Balloons all stay inside the base just like that. Perfect funnel using the Royal Champ. Queen is still alive, walking around the edge of the base, and just like that, all you need the Dragons to take out is that core right there. As long as they can do that, Queen Walk can get one side, Royal Champ can get the other side of defenses, and it's it's really easy. All your spam troops have to do is get this core, and that's it. So that's what we're doing on all these bases that have the exposed Town Hall. And really, I don't think that's going to be the meta anymore moving forward. People are probably going to start having to, having to make bases with the Town Hall inside again. Maybe even two layers deep. I mean, one layer just isn't enough anymore. If you can walk the Town Hall or even just get in with one wall break, um, pretty much anything's working on these bases. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Queen Queenwalk Miner's attack here on number 16 by Iron Man. Pretty much the same concept as the last attack. Again, exposed Town Hall. So what's he going to do? What's the plan? He's just going to walk, use the Queen, walk one side of the base, the Town Hall, use some funneling troops, get the other side of the base with the King, and then from there you just spam everything down the middle and the miners in this case are going to get the rest of the base and it's as simple as that all you got to do is know the best way to make the funnel on each side for the queen that's really it so here he tries to bowler bounce here another, again another fresh attack but that tesla pops up and throws him off so he's going to have to use his coco loons to go ahead and get this tesla down he wanted to use this bowler to bounce these two buildings for some reason the bowler targets this barracks even though this one's pretty much closer but that's all right He's going to make the funnel now. So he uses a couple loons to get that Tesla and a wizard to make the funnel. The baby dragon comes out early from the CC. He drops his queen here so she'll walk this way. Goes ahead and gets the healers behind her. So Bowler's going to finish off the funnel here. Queen's got nowhere else to go but this way. Sometimes she might wrap around for this AD, but luckily there's a little gap here so the CC should be closer than these three buildings and so Queen will walk this way to target the CC and keep going for the Town Hall. She's going to pop the Hound, Poison gets the Balloon and the Pups. Unfortunately the AD is really close to the wall and it's going to start picking off some of his healers here so the Queen Walk's not going to stay alive forever. He goes ahead and uses the BK early and the Royal Champ here to pick off a few defenses. The Royal Champ ability chained a bunch of defenses here so these this Expo and Cannon are really weak already. That AD is starting to pick off his healer, so he's going to go ahead and start the Miners and the Slammer to go for this uh, Inferno Tower here. 
Now with miners, you don't have to use the Royal Champ right behind the miners because the miners themselves can target enemy heroes. It's not like hogs where you really need to use the Royal Champ behind the hogs. So he uses Royal Champ to make a little bit of a funnel to uh, make an e uh, easier path for his miners just to stick right through here. And they're going to have to eventually split off this way. But with how many miners he has, those new level 7 miners have so much HP and he had, I think, two or three heals that he brought with them and the warden ability just keeps them alive the whole time and that new max heal spell really heals them up they can't even die while they're inside it unless they have several point defenses on one miner at a time so these miners are at almost full health going into the back of the base right here I mean just completely destroyed this base moving around the edge if the queen walk was able to stay alive and she didn't target a wall here, she would have gotten all these defenses and the attack would have been overkill if he had started the miners probably 15-20 seconds earlier. The queen would have kept walking this way and it would have been even crushed even more. But even with the queen dying early, he still has, you know, 15 or so miners up, a lot of them at really full health still. Nice attack here by Iron Man showing you guys how to do the queen walk miners on these bases that have the exposed Town Hall that used to be really meta bases at Town Hall 12 but not at Town Hall 13. Town Hall 13 is a little bit too easy to do Queen Walk Spam now. So we're going to take a look at one more attack here. This one's going to be a Queen Charge Lalo by Rage on number 18. We're going to go ahead and take a look at how he does this one. So on this one his plan was to start a Queen Walk up here kill the enemy royal champ really early let queen walk down this way use his bk to funnel this side and just jump right in over here get a bunch of value such as the inferno tower the sweepers the eagle the enemy queen uh, two ad's a scatter shot a few wizard towers and he's going to use his royal champ from this side to try to funnel the queen because he thought his queen was going to uh, go this way inside the jump so he wanted to use his royal champ here to take out the scatter shot and the AD so the AD doesn't pick off his healers however his queen's going to actually wrap this way in the jump so she's going to get these things anyway so the royal champ doesn't get much value at 3 o'clock but when the royal champ keeps pushing this way and uses her ability she chains all the way over here and gets this AD as you'll see here I'll go ahead and play it and she's going to get crazy value and then he's just going to lolo the rest of the base right around like that. And it's going to be a nice easy lolo. The entire core is going to be dead from this charge. Just a really solid attack here by Rage. So he goes ahead and drops the queen up top. Uses a baby dragon to funnel this building. But the royal champ killed it pretty quickly. She's going to walk the right way though. And he's going to use the BK here just like we said earlier. Drops a Coco Loon up there to try to look for some seeking air mines. I don't think it's going to catch any though bunch of Teslas pop over here which is nice he gets rid of the Tesla farm really early King's gonna make that funnel and the Queen's just gonna go right inside this jump luckily there's no buildings here to uh, pull the Queen that way so she's got nowhere to go but inside this jump after she takes out the barracks he's gonna lose a healer there to a seeking air mine but that's all right Queen's gonna shoot the ice golem now and the King pulls the lava hound and that lava hound's gonna stay on the King for a while so he rages up Queen, keeps her alive. There's two Expos and an Inferno and a Scatter Shot on her. He's going to freeze the enemy Queen to make sure he doesn't have to use the ability too early. Then, like we said earlier, she's going to push this way and get all these edge defenses. So the Royal Champ didn't have to be dropped there. She might have been better somewhere else, but not over here because she would just get stuck on the Lava Hound. But the Royal Champ is going to get really good value here with the ability. She's going to hit this Wizard Tower Inferno and chain this AD and another defense there. So really good value there from the ability on the Royal Champ. He's going to poison the Lava Hound Pups here. Rage Queen again to keep her alive. Still has her ability. And from here he's just going to be able to Lalo right through here like this. Queen got both sweepers so he doesn't even have to worry about Laloing into a sweeper at all. Drops the Warden behind the Loons and a late Lava Hound. Probably even could have dropped the Lava Hound from this angle. Uh, haste over the town hall and pop warden ability to avoid the damage from the giga inferno this scatter shot is doing a ton of damage kills all his loons over there but that's all right he still has a freeze and a haste going into this last section so he's going to freeze that scatter shot because it does a ton of splash damage to loons 
and very smartly he's going to save his haste here for over the last inferno you don't want to use it too early as long as you got a lot of loons up he still has that stone slammer at almost full health which is really nice in this case so queen's going to beat through a wall come over here get the expo tank the wizard tower and kill the wizard tower so he doesn't have to worry about that wizard tower doing splash damage to his loons haste over that last inferno and the loons push through the, the rest of the base. He's got cleanup minions everywhere. And just a really solid attack here by Rage, showing you how to Queen Charge Lalo. Just jump right into the base, use the king to funnel. Uh, there's several different ways you can use the, the Royal Champ on this attack. You could use her like that to funnel. You could even use her on the back end to snipe an AD or a back end Inferno. There's tons of different methods to using the Royal Champ. But just like that, there's a nice war recap of our war against Lubard War Team. Unfortunately, we didn't pull out the victory on this one, but we were able to triple with all sorts of different attacks. So if you guys want to see more videos like that, more videos of just showing all sorts of different types of attacks, everything's working right now. Honestly, it feels like any type of attack strategy can triple at this point. Maybe we just got to wait a couple weeks, uh, see if uh, the defenses catch up with the more higher levels on the defenses. Maybe base building will catch up, but right now offense feels really strong. We're tripling a lot of bases. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.